just first impressions But these few nights have raised some questions I've never known where I'd belong But you've made this place feel like home Eyes of neon and a heart of gold reason we are here. In marriage we say not only I love you today, but I promise to love you for all of our tomorrows. Thank you for joining Uprna and Tim this evening on their sixth anniversary as we witness their union and celebrate their love for one another. So what is love? Love is not about how much you say I love you. Love is more than three words you simply mumble before bedtime. Love is an action a pattern of devotion in the things we do for each other each and every day. People are who they are, and no one is perfect. But they say, you come to love not by finding the perfect person, but by seeing an imperfect person perfectly. Because when you love someone, you're able to look past their flaws. You see their true colors, and you love each part of them to the fullest. Uppernow, I love you. Over the past six years, you've been my tailgating buddy, travel partner, sounding board, but most importantly, my best friend. And I could not imagine navigating life without you. Whether using interchangeable nicknames for Stella and I, <laughs> or making timely and very realistic animal noises, you've always known how to make me laugh. I promise to be there to laugh with you along the way and bring the same levity to the times that need it. From changing jobs to traveling in the middle of a pandemic, for better or worse, you've always supported my decisions. I know it won't always be easy, but I vow to always support you the same way and help shoulder your challenges. When things aren't going well at work or it's just been a bad day, sometimes you just need someone to listen without any judgment. You've always been that person in my life, and I pledge to always be that for you when you need it. You mean so many different things to me, but most of all, you make me want to be the best version of myself for you. Thomas Burton said, love is our true destiny. We do not find the meaning of life by ourselves alone. We find it with another. I know you are that person for me, and I promise that I will love you and honor you for the rest of my life. Six years ago today, we went on our first date. Six years together covers living in three states, four moves, hundreds of flights, our silly Stella and our sweet Abita, and a lot of Ohio State wins. This has been my greatest adventure and I can't wait for what's next. I would up and go 
You mean more to me than any other thing or person in my entire life. You are the only person that I trust implicitly. I know you always have my best interests at heart, even when I don't agree at that exact time. <laughs> you take care of me even when I don't want to be taken care of, but you know I need it. In so many ways, you know me better than I know myself. You have exhibited more compassion, steadfastness, and understanding than I ever considered possible from any human. Uh, truly, it took probably three years before I realized that's just who you are and who you will always be. You've shown me unconditional love and made me realize I'm deserving of it. You have not just let me be me, you have embraced me fully, quirks, weaknesses, annoyances all together. And in doing so, you have given, really gifted me, a piece in my life I didn't even know existed. <laughs> you taught me firsthand radical self-acceptance self without intentionally do, doing so. You make me want to be a better person every single day and actually try to. You mean more to me than I could ever articulate. And today, today and every day, I'm more grateful for you, more in love with you than you'll ever really know. Tim, I promise to make you laugh every day, even if it's at me. I also promise not to get mad for too long if the laughing is at my expense. I will support you in the endeavors you choose, just as you've always done for me. Your dreams are mine too, and I'm so excited about the life we are building together. I promise to listen, at least 50% of the time, <laughs> to you. Especially when you remind me I can't control or plan everything and trust you that somehow things will work out even when I least expect it. I vow to always be your partner and know that we are better and stronger together. I will love you. I do love you <laughs> through all the highs and lows and unknowns of life. I remind you that marriage is a precious gift a lifelong commitment, and a challenge to love one another more completely each and every day. With this understanding, do you, Tim, take Aparna to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to love her unconditionally and without hesitation? Will you create a home filled with laughter and compassion? Do you vow to cherish this marriage, knowing that together you will build a life far greater than either of you could imagine alone? Will you lean on her strengths, forgive her weaknesses, and encourage her dreams? If so, say I do. I do. As long as they want it. With this understanding, do you up or not take Tim to be your wedded husband? Do you promise to love him unconditionally and without hesitation? Will you create a home filled with laughter and compassion? Do you vow to cherish this marriage, knowing that together you will build a life far greater than either of you can imagine alone? Will you lean on his strengths, forgive his weaknesses, and encourage his dreams? If so, say I do. All the beauty we'll see. I give you this ring as a reminder as a reminder that I will love honor and cherish you that I will love honor and cherish you until death do us part until death do us part I give you this ring as a reminder as a reminder that I will love, honor, and cherish you. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. Until death do us part. Until death do us part.
Together we can nurture each other. Find that 